Hello, my marvellous guardians. Right, the Hawkmoon quest is here, which is my favourite exotic from all of Destiny. So let's get this quest started. And this particular video is about the five locations of the five feathers you need to find for the first part of the quest. So, of course, you go and see Spider to get the ball rolling. And then turn around and make your way back out to the front door of his lair. Careful not to drop a poo on his doormat on the way out. Because, you know, we love the spider, don't we? The filthy gangster. Anyway, here we are just coming out and to the left look there is the first feather nice and easy to get us started thanks very much then it gives you a clue to where feather number two is and it says overlooking a grove well it's actually the hallowed grove lost sector on the edz which you can see just here so you want to go to the sludge area and then once you start in the sludge area you want to make your way over to this second set of buildings here on the left I'll just speed this up a tad. Now, as you get up here, you can just see the glowing feather lurking underneath. So what you want to do is jump up onto this platform, the charming, pretty thing just glowing there. Here it is on the map. There we go. Look, here I am. Just so you've got an idea of location. So once you pick this young fellow up, next we have to go to the Cosmodrome. So you have to go to the steps area on the Cosmodrome, which is where Shaw Han is. So let's just drop our way in here. Now, this one's not very far at all. In fact, it's just on this pillar that I'm looking at here. So just jump up to the top of the pillar and there you will see the next feather. That's the third one, governor. And here you can see my position on the map just on the landing zone. Look, marvellous. So pick up that fancy Dan and now we're going to go to the Dreaming City because Aldrin, ba sorry, the crow <laughs> yes, babbles on about going home, which of course is the Dreaming City. So make your way to the Devalian Mist's landing zone. Now we're heading towards those large doorways there. That's the entrance to the Blind Well. Now as we enter into these doors, the feather is going to be sort of on your left on a slightly raised, good word coming up, dais. Yes, I could have said platform, but I'm posh, I am. Right, so here we go, and the doorways here, and just turn around onto the left. You can see it glowing there, and there we go. There's our baby, so Pick that one up, and then we shall continue on with the next feather. Here we are on the map, look, just so you've got some reference. Okay, this next feather happens to be our fifth and final feather. Nice and quick, eh? Now, we're actually going to the moon for this one. Uh, we're going to land in Sanctuary and kind of make our way towards Archer's Line there. It's a little bit of a drive and a jog, but don't worry too much. We'll just make our way there. Oh, and by the way, if you are enjoying the video and you do like my inimitable style then drop me a subscribe and a like and a comment that would be absolutely fantastic right here we are in archer's line like what i just mentioned now you want to take a right here uh carefully don't drop down the hole because i do that quite a lot you can go that way but it's a bit of a fiddle keep on going the way i'm going to go until you see the big turning into the rock here on our right now then, as we make our way down here, you're going to see the little doorway, and we're going to make our way to Oryx's Shrine. Now then, so keep on going down this way. Be careful when you run down here and you jump down the central area. I'm con constantly breaking my ankles down this way for some reason. So just, you know, feather it. <laughs> Get it? Feather it. Take it easy on the way down. Now, next, we're going to enter the Hall of Wisdom, which is strange because there's just a bunch of thickos in there, but never mind. So you want to go this way. You want to take a right. You can take them out if you want, but to be perfectly honest, you should just be able to run through it with only a few singed hairs on the back of your ass. So don't worry about it too much. Now, once you get to this area, you want to take the left into this bluish area. Look, there's a new cryptolith there. That wasn't there before. I'm pretty bloody sure of that. But anyway, go past the cryptolith. Now, we're going to be going through the tunnel area here now this is basically a straight line and it's where we have the uh, fanatic that we sometimes have to kill on the fanatic nightmare hunt if that's something that you've done in the past not too far to go now because it actually says shrine of oryx here but there's a little bit further to go than you'd think uh, i'm playing this on the ps5 oh my god the difference between the frame rate and the field of view blew my trousers clean off and they landed on the wall with a squelching sound it was absolutely unbelievable so i'm gonna make a bloody video about how great it is don't you know i don't know how many of you have got ps5s or xboxes or pc players already know where i am but never mind 
good old PS4. I love you, PS4. Anyway, we're going to be coming into the main shrine area here, which is full of gits. But what I would advise you do is, you don't have to clear them out if you don't want to, but there is a champion in here who might kill you until you're dead. So if you want to destroy them first before you go and pick up the feather, but it's pretty easy to find. So I'll take us back to the entrance. Now this is uh, the main part of it. You just follow it all the way around. That chest was from where the, uh, uh, the champion dropped it. But there we go. You can see the glowing feather there. And that's it. That's your fifth and final feather, which is lovely. Once you've collected that baby, you get orders to go and see Aldrin, I mean the crow, and when you get there... Do you have a minute? He says these strange things. Something's been going on, and I'm... I've been having these strange dreams lately. So obviously the next part of the quest is that we have to sit down and be psychiatrists to the bloke who killed our best mate. I love Destiny, it's fantastic. Right, I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, a like, subscribe and all that cobblers would be marvellous. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you all again in the next video. Sausage out.